Well, on this fine and glorious morning, I think I'm going to tackle that girl. I have a cat written on it, yeah. Well, anyway, I just popped the top here, let's see. Huh? Looks like cat yellow. He's thick. So I wanted to test down here where it wouldn't matter so much. Yeah, that's not going to look too bad. ceiling in there but you can see I, I still gotta get under there and under there under where under there but the inside of the cab was a pain in the butt but it's definitely more yellow now
So I've been cleaning, 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 taking it all apart. Oh, I still got the tip in there. My little brush. Yeah, these things, I don't remember what that was. 600 bucks, 700, six? I don't know. But it's like buying a rifle. So you wanna make sure it is clean. Clean, clean, clean. So yeah, you hear the heater going in the background. This is the pipe I punctured back when I was cleaning it out. Oh my gosh, that's... Oh, I just hit my first snag. See all this? It's a can of freeze. I was in there trying to dig this stuff out. Pretty bad shape. So I'm getting that out. I got a new one in there. You'll never guess what I'm going to sell on my Amazon account. Look at that. It's not a caterpillar, it's a caterpillar. So I shortened up them hoses a little bit so I didn't need that bungee cord there. <laughs> so I went on an epic search for what did I do with the bolts to hold that guard in? But I finally found them. And there they are. <laughs> oh, you know, were they in the back of my pickup? No. Were in the toolbox of my pickup? No. Were in the back of the shop? No. Where were, oh yeah, I put them in with the impact tubby there, or whatever, tote you call it, in the back seat of my pickup. So finally found them. Thank God I have a bad memory, huh? That's not gonna work. Oh, we tried a different one. This door needs to be lifted up. I think I'm short a bolt. Well, found one. Okay. Gotta be careful not to strip them, huh? Loud, very loud. Let's, let's close that. And let's close this one too. That's back in. Oh, you can you can kind of see where I hammered. Uh oh. Uh oh. You want to know what it sounds like when I open my wallet? Yeah. Well, I spent a while on the phone with Jeff over there at Ziegler, and he was able to find the serial number or VIN number for me. And I wrote it on some tape, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to write it right on the paint. So if anybody's ever looking for it, there it is. Oh, I suppose that needs to be there. There we go. The VIN number is usually stamped into this somewhere in there. But somebody went and hung a 60,000 pound winch off the back of this to cover up the VIN number. And rather than taking this all off, I thought it'd be easier to call Jeff over at Ziegler. Jeff, thanks for all your help. Hopefully those stickers get here soon. You know, I, I've been dr dreading, dreading, dreading. So I've come to the point where I'm getting to the point or I'm, So I've reached a, pro a point in this project that I've been dreading from the from before starting it. And that is putting all these windows back in. What a pain in the butt. I'm not good at it. I know some guys are really good at it. They probably have this little special tool to just zip them in. I don't have it. I got a screwdriver. Because that's, that's the only thing somebody trusts me with. It's the only tool that I'm qualified to run. Well, I'm not even qualified. I'm not even certified to run a screwdriver, but I do it. Don't tell anybody. Yeah, I just drank a Mountain Dew. Why do you ask? Wow. That's pretty. Very pretty. Oh, I guess that's, that's kind of pretty too. Wow. Oh, no. They sure like your popcorn though.
Thanks for watching. Have a great day.